Tonight, hundreds of families who are hoping to vacation in Florida this week are instead on their way back to New Jersey. Their cruise ship sailed into rough seas, causing chaos on board and forcing the captain to turn the ship around. CBS 4's Ted Scott is live for us in Port Miami with more. Ted? Elliot, we're getting some new information, and this is quite significant. On the floor of the U.S. Senate, Florida Senator Bill Nelson is asking the NTSB to open an investigation. He wants to know exactly why a ship would sail into hurricane force winds despite warnings. There's seven. <gasps> Seven it's the night passengers meters. on the Anthem of the Seas will never forget. Waves crashing outside the ship were so high, some of the rooms on the lower levels appeared submerged at times. Oh, my God. Passenger tweets say the winds hit 106 knots, which is about 122 miles per hour. The ship left the New York City area heading to the Caribbean when it ran into the bad weather off North Carolina. It was so bad on board that passengers had to head to their cabins. We're trapped in our rooms. We can't leave. That was passenger Leanna Nicole from her room. Today, she tweeted an update. Finally moving, she said, wind still feels strong, but nowhere close to the chaos 12 hours ago. You can see from this video today, the sea is much quieter, a lot calmer than from when these pictures were taken Sunday, showing part of the ceiling collapsed on the 14th deck. We also see chairs and tables in the restaurant knocked to the ground, the same in one of the jewelry stores. In another shot, we see a planter broken on the floor with towels up against the door to keep water out. Today, trying to explain what happened, the cruise line put out a tweet saying, Yesterday, Anthem of the Seas encountered an unexpectedly severe storm off Cape Hatteras. But the National Weather Service had forecasts predicting the bad weather. Steve Rowley of the National Weather Service in Charleston said, Hurricane force wind warnings went up early, at least two days in advance. And Senator Nelson said this sounded very familiar to him. If you'll remember back to when the Alfaro, that, uh, that ship that sailed into the Bahamas into a hurricane, uh, that ship sank, killing 33 people on board. He said it sounded very familiar to that. He said he wants answers fast. Meanwhile, today we asked Royal Caribbean if they could explain to us why the captain decided to go that course. We still have not heard back from them. Live at Port Miami, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News. Okay, Ted, thank you.